Uh, lines are parallel, perpendicular, or they could be neither of the two. Um, so here's a quick way of classifying. They're parallel if the lines run side by side. Let's do a different color. My red and my blue line are parallel if they never cross. You can draw them out to infinity. You can go to a billion on the x-axis and they still never cross. So the, the big characteristic here is that this is counting up and over at the same rate as this line is. They have the same slope. They have the same rise over run. So this is parallel. I'm lazy, so I'm going to stop right there. They're perpendicular. It, it's a special type of intersection when they're perpendicular. Red line would be going like this. So blue line will be going like this. They cross and they make a perfect 90 degrees if they are perpendicular. Okay, so this is perpendicular. <clears throat> and if they're neither if they just cross in some boring way, like red line and blue line. Those don't cross at a perfect 90. Those aren't parallel. So this is neither. Neither. Okay, so let's look at a quick example here. Let's get out of here. So we got this black line and this red line. You know, we could graph them on an X and Y chart. That'd be great. Uh, but you can't be exactly sure if they're parallel, perpendicular, neither, just by graphing. The uh, best way to be uh, perfectly sure is to put them in slope-intercept form, like a previous video shows you how to do. I'm trying to get Y by itself, because when Y is by itself, we have slope-intercept form, and we can identify the slope. Now this over here, again, be careful, this isn't 6x, this is 8 minus 2x. Those aren't like terms, they can't combine. We need to know what x is before we can multiply according to the order of operations. So to finish this out, I divide everything by 4. So this red line has a slope of negative 1 half x, okay? Because it's always the number that's in front of the x. Negative 1 half x is our slope of the red line. And now the black line, uh, just one, line, one step to put that in slope intercept form, everything needs to be divided by 2. Divide that by 2. Divide by that by 2. So the black line, we have y equals 2x. Subtract 3 halves. Slope of the black line is 2. Slope of the red line was negative 1 half. This is where they're perpendicular. Okay, because they're perfectly going to cross. And that's because these two numbers are negative reciprocals of each other. That just means that if you take 2, if you flip it in a fraction and you change the sign, and it turns out to be the other one, they're negative reciprocals. Uh, so anytime that happens, like negative 2 over 3 and 3 halves, those are perpendicular slopes. 3 over 6 and negative 2, those are perpendicular slopes because this, again, is positive 1 half when you reduce it, and this is negative 2. Put a little 1 in there, and that's the same thing as flipping and changing the sign. So anytime they're the reverse fraction and they're negatives, they're negative reciprocals, that means they're perpendicular. So are two lines parallel, perpendicular, uh, parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Well, first, find the slopes of each line, and two, and then next, yeah, I didn't put that in a very good spot, but if they're, this is for part two. If they're the same, they're parallel. If they're negative reciprocals, that means they're perpendicular. If they're not, none of these, then we just say neither. They just cross in some boring way.